back for another episode of our American Truck Driving Simulator. So we're just going to kind of look around here and, and uh, get started and try to figure out where to go. I'd kind of like to get down to Holbrook. So um, let's just take a look. We'll start there at Flagstaff, going to Holbrook. We got anything going on here? Uh, no, nothing really. Nothing good. So let's go up here to K uh, Kayenta, uh, to Holbrook, Page. Um, no, I don't really see too much here. Uh, let's go over to Page and let's see. Camp Verde, driving a Scania, and then we've got another Scania, got a bus, we've got the Lieber, Wolfert, oh look, we got a Bradley, okay, well this Bradley's going to Holbrook, so that's good, well, let's take this job, so we'll take this, I just started this, um, this profile and we, the only thing as far as mods that I have is I've added the Scania's and the Mercedes and uh, the oversized cargo and just basically trailers and that's all this job pays thirty two hundred and twenty three dollars got a nice pretty red Kenworth driving to Bradley it's a day cab that's cool and uh, you know that's something here where I live, we don't see a lot of day cabs. Mostly it's all 100% full blown over the road truck with the integrated sleepers. And I'm starting to see a lot of the Volvos now. Oh, they've got the tow launcher up on this. Okay. Well, let's get settled in here and um, go from there. I need to uh, get the uh, seat set up here. So if you'll bear with me a little bit, let's get this this seat set up I kind of like this new mod where we have the adjustable steering wheels that, that I say mod this is the new addition from SCS and I kind of like it it does give a little bit uh, better ability to look at your dash and see your your gauges and your instrument cluster so a uh, little news here I don't have a wheel so apparently uh, now I'm looking for a uh, used G27 because I don't think anybody can afford a new one if they can find them. Have you seen the prices on eBay? Oh my lord. So hey, you guys leave a comment below and let me know what y'all use. Do you, do you use a wheel? Do you use a joystick? Uh, do you use a mouse? Or do you, you just stick with a keyboard? Alright, here we go. We're going to take off here. Now I don't have a track IR yet. That will be the next purchase I make, I do believe. So we're going to... Uh, right now, I'll go ahead and see if we can't get this beast out of here. Doesn't really look like it's that bad, but I have a feeling I'm going to have a difficult time with this trailer. So, we'll cut this kind of wide here. I don't know who that guy is standing there, but you know what? These guys are always standing there. They never wave, they never talk, they never say, hey, what's going on? Alright, uh oh. See, I was kind of afraid of that. I hope I didn't do any damage to that. But we'll back up and we'll get a better run at it and a better angle. So, uh-oh. You know, every time I see those those uh, Wahlberg trucks, I think of a Pepsi can. All right, so here we go. Now we'll ease off out here. That looks good. Looks like I got plenty of room. And uh, I like it. Okay, let's get out of here. Take off a little bit. Come up here and... Uh, we're going to head through Page and on our way to uh, Holbrook. So how have you guys been doing? I hope uh, this video finds everybody doing well. And uh, I hope you guys stay safe. And uh, I hope you guys stay dry. Where I'm at, it has been raining a tremendous amount. Every single day for the last five days. You know? So uh, it's not too bad here as far as... as, as opposed to the folks down in Louisiana. You know, I feel real bad for them. And my prayers will go out to all the folks down there. I've got a friend, his parents are flooded out. And he's down there now. So, you know, it just, it's a sad, sad thing all the way around. So, uh, let's just uh, take off here and just keep rolling. 
I've been playing this ATS here not too long, uh, about four months, I guess, and I really enjoy it. Wow, look at all the towers, all these electrical transmission towers. You know, in real life, they are not spaced that close together. There's just no way. I know they've done it for the game, but that is ridiculous. So, well, I sure am. Uh, seems like I've got a little lag going on. I don't know. I didn't really notice that before. So, okay. I, uh, yeah, I, 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 I uh, feel real bad for those folks down there in Louisiana. But I'm just going to sit here and ramble on until we get done with this. See, there's one of the mods. There's the uh, hay trailer. Now, here in Texas, they do not stack rolls of hay that tall. They can only go two levels high. And that's on the standard skateboard on the standard flatbed. You know, I, I, uh, I was I kind of wishing that when SCS came out with this new, uh, this new, I don't know, addition, I don't know what the word is that you want to call it, um, this new version, uh, I was kind of hoping there'd be a little bit more sea, uh, scenery going on. I mean, I understand it's the desert, but it's not really all like this, you know. And I do notice that the trains on this, as we come to this crossing and this train just went by, the trains are no longer just the engine. It's, it appears that, that they have added uh, length to the train, you know, in the form of more cars. So that's a good thing. It's, it is a little more realistic, but... Like here, uh, we might have a train that is 60, 80, 100 cars long. You know, it might span three miles, you know, 15,000 feet. So, let's see, uh, what am I looking at here? Okay. All right, there we go. Just kind of have to see where we're going. And it, it's good to see them add a few cars to these trains like this. However, um it's still not realistic it's better but it's still not realistic and then it seems with the new map scaling too it seems like that the destinations and the towns are closer together i i thought they would have been farther apart but apparently that's not so because uh, if you guys have driven across texas it, it takes a long time you know it we're talking from Dallas to El Paso, we're talking uh, 11 hours, you know, 10 hours. And that's at 70, 75 miles an hour. But I understand when you get out in the desert like this, I call it desert, the desert southwest, it does look a lot like this. Um, I kind of like the fact that there's not that many blowing tumbleweeds that I have run across yet. But uh, I did just start this profile and I'm actually just going to use this profile to test things out and see where we're at my problem with this game is without the wheel i just absolutely have a hard time staying within the lines i'm like a kindergartner with a coloring book i have a hard time staying in between the lines oh there's the horn it took me a while to figure out on the keyboard that one horn button was for the regular default horn and was that a cop? That looked like a cop. And the second horn button actually activated the air horns. So, you know, that took me a little bit of time to figure out. But once I got that figured out, I think everything was good to go. Um, let's see here. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to, uh, do you want to see just regular videos of like just buying trucks and then uh oh dad going i got a speeding ticket this truck does not have an automatic retarder apparently it does not so i'm gonna have to keep an eye on the brakes on this or i hope i don't get another ticket yeah what kind of videos do you guys like do you like just sim videos first person shooter videos what do you kind of leave a comment below and, and let me know what videos you like and we'll see if we can't start integrating those in. I did just find a, uh, a game called uh, Stranded Deep on Steam. And it does look pretty cool. 
basically it's a you're a survivor of an airline crash or an airplane crash and it kind of reminds me of uh, Tom Hanks in uh, that movie Castaway and it looks like it's gonna be fun now, I have not started playing it yet I just bought it and downloaded it yesterday and I hopefully can get into that Monday or Tuesday of this next week um, we're gonna try that out it looks like it'll be a little bit of fun I kind of like the whole aspect of crafting tools and you know building things and getting more and more stuff crafting bigger and better to me I, I like those kind of sim games this ATS is, is really the first driving game that I've bought and played in a long time normally I'll play um, you know like racing games and stuff like that you know and uh, hey there's a guy working up there oh the lights are on don't, don't do it so anyhow um, I, I've never really gotten into the racing car games, the racing sims, but I, uh, I, I do like this, this game here. And I think I'm going to buy the uh, new shifter that's out, that's got the jake brake on it, the uh, SKRS uh, shifter from CSIO Technologies. Big shout out to those guys. I um, uh, really am looking at that, and I think I'm going to buy that, you know? Um, the G27, we're fixing to buy one of those, and that comes with the uh, uh, the shifter and stuff. So I was looking at that, and I think we're just going to piece together a whole system. I'm going to buy me a, the the G27, and then I think I'm going to buy the Thrustmaster shifter. We'll put the uh, this uh, shifter on it, the uh, SKRS. We'll put that on that Thrustmaster shifter, and kind of. Put, put it all together and then we'll work the kinks out and we'll see see how it plays but uh, I can't I just can't see how that would be bad and how it would not work but well I mean I'm just sitting here talking and rambling this whole time but I uh, I like this game quite a bit as far as it's not so much mind numbing but it's very calming and it does let you kill some time and and it's pretty cool now i have driven you know a lot of these roads in the past and you know they're it's pretty close to the, to the texture and to the 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 speed limits i'm gonna say are fairly close however some of the roads that i've driven that are like they're a little bit worse for wear they're not as near as good a shape as what we have in the game but um i uh Put this together i want to put a shout out to uh, paul uh squirrel and i've been watching him and on his channel i've emailed him a few times and he's kind of given me some pointers and kind of some heads up on uh, uh, things to do to look for and put together to start recording videos so paul thank you very much and we are actively pursuing those and we're going to have all that together and I would imagine a mic and my mixer and videos I think all this is going to come together and we're going to start having some uh, pretty good quality starting you know the first week of September so I'm really looking forward to that that's going to be a huge game changer from where I am now with this so looks like we're coming up on our uh, drop off point here our destination I think I've got to uh, ease around the corner here and uh, take a right every time I come this way I always try to stop and, and yeah see I've got my yeah see I, I did it again I tried to enter onto the freeway and that's just not the right way to go so. <laughs> but this trailer is wider than than I thought and I can feel the weight I can really feel the weight of that Bradley on here it's just uh, going to take a little getting used to. I mean, it does span the entire lane from line to line. So, oh, we got another truck coming. So, I hope it's this guy. He's just bobtailing anyway. See all the cars and the trucks over on the freeway? That, that looks pretty good. You know, it really looks pretty good. SCS has done a good job with this this simulator and I'm glad that this truck does not have 
uh, sleep. Uh, you guys will know why in here in a little bit as I try to maneuver this thing around. This is a big trailer. It, it just handles totally different than say a 53 foot box or a curtain or actually a gravel gravel trailer. So we'll come up to a stop here and uh, let's see. Signal's on. Oh, we got a curtain. What are you doing? Dude, seriously. Go. Uh, I hope I don't scrape. No, I missed him. Come on, look at that. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, I got three trucks stacked up by there. Alright, well they can wait. So we're just going to ease off up here. And we're going to drop this load off. And at that point, I think we're going to make our $3,200. Providing I don't crash into something. So we're going to adjust this here. Yeah, I kind of wish we had a, a more varied assortment of buildings and I understand the whole concept behind it but you know traveling through some of these cities and some of the businesses you know that's I'd like to see quite a bit more buildings buildings I mean I get the now we have a couple of different kinds of gas stations but I I really think that uh, if, if we had a little bit more buildings would be would be really cool I think uh, let's see here. Which one do we want? 40, 15? Yeah, let's go 40. That's pretty easy. It looks like it's right there. Alright, well, let's just see. Since I'm not used to this too much here, I think we're going to change to the outside view and um, go from there. We're going to try to park this using the outside view, and more than likely, uh, that's probably the way I'm going to do it. I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it like this. I'm spatially challenged. <laughs> that's what we're, you know what, that's what we're going to title this, is spatially challenged. ATS spatially challenged. I like that. See, I'm like way off. I am so far off. Yeah, well, some of these guys make it look easy. Some of them make it look easy. Yeah, see, I'm, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> All right, oh, hold on a sec, guys. Let me work this out. <laughs> but we can try it. Uh, I don't know. Nah, I don't think this is going to work either. I'm almost fully jacked now because I don't have nothing to sleep. And that guy is standing there. <laughs> that guy, he's like the guys I work with. He's just going to stand there and laugh. Okay, so now we'll just make this turn around again here and we'll make it. I'll tell you what, guys. You guys, uh, hold on. Now, I was going to have you just wait to come back. But... Now, see, look at that. It hit the barrier. There's an invisible barrier there. The barrier between the truck and the trailer. See? I mean, I'm three foot away from that, four foot away from that trailer, and it still would not let me buy. I'm brushing up against that wall there. So, that's something that we're going to have to get fixed. I'll have to report that. But... See those two guys standing down, watching, laughing at me? Hey, fellas, stop laughing. Stop laughing. <laughs> All right, I think maybe I can get this now. I do like driving the Scania and the Mercedes just for this reason. The 900, these Kenworth 900s, are just absolutely huge to drive. I, I, the Scania's will pull a lot. And the Scania's will go fast, and they will just turn on a dime. Oh, I don't want to kiss that trailer. Don't want to kiss. All right, I got plenty of room there. So anyway, hey guys, I really, really, really would like to comment on this. I want your thoughts on that. In ATS, what is your favorite truck? 
And what is your favorite truck trailer combination? Do you like pulling flatbeds and heavy loads like this? Is that your preference? Do you like the hauling rock trucks? Do you like tankers? Do you like, uh, you know, the regular like clothes, dishes? Do you like the hazardous waste? What is your favorite? I think we're just gonna put this out there as a poll and you guys tell me what is your favorite load? You know? And, and I'm real curious to see what you guys like to pull. I really do. And if there's any special mods, I'd like you guys to tell me that. Tell me the special mods. Tell me what works good and what you like to see and I'll incorporate that into our videos. Okay, I did it. What'd we get? 243 miles, 51 gallons, and we made 271 experience points, and we made our total $3,223. So, okay, fellas, well, I'll tell you what, you guys. Um, see, I've just started this. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, you guys, thanks for, thanks for sitting with us, and uh, we'll talk to you later.